Hi, Gemini. It's Elle here to do your February 2020 general reading. It is a general reading, so it won't resonate with every Gemini who views the video, but if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. All right, so Gemini, thank you to those who already like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It really helps the channel. Please do so. Oh, Gemini, we have a card. Okay, we got your card. Well, not your card, but, you know, it could be an indicator of how you're feeling right now. The magician. You see that? So you're trying to manifest something. You have this idea of how something should be. Maybe with a cancer, Capricorn. Aquarius, Pisces. So our first spread is going to be for love. We had the magician jump. So we're going to take that. Let's see what this is about. Some of you really, it's like you're trying to bring something back. You're trying to pull something in. The king of cups, it could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We had Pisces and Cancer. You're trying, you could be trying to reel something in with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or you could just very well be in love with, trying to find balance with your emotions in regards to a particular person. It could be anybody here. All the signs that I named, and including all 12 zodiac signs, right? Um... If you're showing up as the magician, you're trying to bring something back so it's not with you. You're trying, you have the idea in your head, and then you're trying to manifest it in the 3D, in the reality. So you may be without a person, place, or thing, but this is love. So. The King of Cups showing up saying, it says that you're trying to. Stay balanced in regard. I'm trying to, excuse me, balance out your emotions in regards to a particular person. You're trying to stay balanced either because of something that they did, they did or said, or didn't say, or didn't do. But you want this connection back. Or vice versa. Somebody will show me off this back with you, Gemini. Yeah, eight of swords, seven of swords. This is Aquarius. We, we saw Aquarius here with the magician. So some of you are trying to conjure up some secret plan because you're head over heels in love with some individual here. We're still trying to remain balanced in regards to how much you think about them, uh, what actions you're going to take in regards to them, keeping it a secret, hiding your emotions, trying to not let it overflow, out, overpour, you know. Um, the deception is coming from the fact that you're not speaking or acting on how what you really want or how you feel. You could have moved away from this person or they moved away from you. You guys just decided to have peace, make peace with each other. But look at you. You kept that sword behind your back. That's how you really feel. You hid your feelings or you're hiding your feelings. Or this is someone in regards to you. This is how they feel about you. This could be someone you have children with or you want to have children with. Some of you are trying to manipulate a situation where you do have children Four of Swords. You constantly think about this person, dream about this person. You want them back. You're trying to think, is it a good idea for me to go 
toward them and tell them exactly how I feel, what I want. Tell them that you want to reestablish the foundation that you two have with each other or had. Someone's all up in their head about this, this connection, this relationship. I'm going to pull one more card. Four was the max, but it, yeah, ten, ten of wands. You know what this card talks about? This talks about someone carrying unnecessary burden. What is a secret in unnecessary burden? You carry your secret. Someone's secretly in love with you or vice versa. You're secretly in love with someone else. The relationship could have, you guys, looks like dissipated. Like it, it wasn't a, a big, you know, it wasn't a big hoopla about, you know, it wasn't friction. It wasn't discord. It was just like, you know what? I don't want to deal with you. You don't want to deal with me. We're going to go our separate ways. But now you want this person back. You never really stop carrying the torch for this person or vice versa. They never stop carrying it for you. This is masculine energy. Uh, doesn't mean it has to be a man. Someone with a lot of masculine energy. They exude or they display or portray masculine type mannerisms in regards to love. They may not show their feelings. This could be a woman who does this. They may not speak exactly what they feel, they may just show it or do do things for you when they try to show up for you. Um, so this could be a woman or a man, but it looks like someone wants to release the burden. Yeah, two of wands, they want this connection to further. They want to push the relationship, the connection forward so that you guys can start to build Someone wants to get out of an old way, an old place, and go to new. New in meaning, and maybe even renew. What's the advice for Gemini? <laughs> oh my gosh, I gotta be honest. <laughs> I had a little bit to trick. <laughs> I'm, I'm the kind of quote unquote drunk, right? Who gets sleepy. I'm not the wild and crazy drunk. I'm like, it's time to go to bed. You know? But I will say, it really, you know, like, to most readers, especially people who have been doing this for a number of years, like they have a certain level of intuition about themselves, about a reading, what they see, what they feel in regards to the cards. But when you have just a little bit of alcohol or a little bit of influence, it really heightens um, the reading. I, I mean, I see a lot of these cards. This is some of you, um, the relationship ended because of a love affair. There was someone else here. There was competition. There was a lot of arguing. There was a lot of one up, you know, one up each other. Trying, you know, someone was very argumentative, very combative. Whether it was you, Gemini, or the other person, um, someone didn't want the relationship, the marriage, the business, the, the the business of the relationship or the marriage. Someone just wanted the the connection, whatever that could be, whatever that was. But now there is either you, Gemini, or the other person wanting everything back. The good, the bad, the ugly, you want it back. Someone, there was someone here, someone broke up, broke out, moved away from because of third party situation. There's a more, more than one person in the bedroom this could have been an obsession. There's somebody who kept in contact or kept in contact with exes, which caused strife and discord in the relationship, the marriage. Yeah. 
someone never really let an ex go. So it was, they never saw forward movement and progression with this particular person. Either you, Gemini, this was the other person. Right. Somebody wants it back. All right. What's the advice for Gemini in regards to love? Love and romance. Valentine's Day will be here soon. Beautiful day. Oh my gosh, you have to see what I wrote on my calendar. <laughs> now I'm going to snap a picture and I'm going to share it with you guys. I wrote it on my calendar for Valentine's Day. This card flipped out. Ask your angels and then you have the four swords. You need to meditate. You need to pray before you move forward. In regards to releasing a particular person, place, a thing, a burden, a secret. In regards to just deciding to not carry this anymore. Ask your angels, okay? Wait. Yes. So ask and wait. Wait for the answer. Wait for things to turn about to manifest, right? So. Yes, you get a yes answer. So we clarify our yes answers within the next few weeks. We clarify our yes answers here at the channel. So let's go ahead and clarify this yes answer. What is this yes answer for Gemini? What's the yes answer for Gemini? Okay, so this person, something about whomever, you may get some challenging news. You may, you may hear what you don't want to hear. You may not hear what you want to hear. It brings you to a level of disappointment. But, it's, but it also brings you to a level of release. You can finally, finally release the burden of not knowing, not speaking how you feel to this particular person. Or this is how someone feels in regards to you, okay? Um, yes, this person may be done with it over. It could be another air sign or fire sign, air Sagittarius, Leo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They may not want to pick the relationship back up. Let's see what career and finance has to offer Gemini. Career and finance for Gemini. Very nice. King of Fire. So some of you are entrepreneurs. This is the entrepreneur of the deck. You're very focused. You're communicating with direction. You're being a leader. You're also being creative. You're also having some level of motivation. It is not you motivating yourself. There's a circle. It's like a circle of accountability where it may be a circle of friends motivates each other. It holds each other accountable in regards to maybe said ideas, said goals, like how, where are you on that goal? So you have someone, um, yeah, you've been very ambitious here. You're going after what it is you want. You think it and then you do it. And King of Fire is all about action. It's not a whole bunch of stagnation. Like, oh, I want to open an ice cream pot. And then five years goes by. No ice cream parlor. The king of fire is like, I want to open an ice cream parlor. And maybe in a few months, they've got paperwork. They've got all kinds of stuff done, ready. They're, they're looking for space. You know, that's the type of energy here. Nine of air. Um, do keep in mind what you think will manifest. Have positive, creative, innovative solutions their thoughts here because of the nine of swords comes up it says that there is relative um, opposition or fear or uh, 
uh, yeah, opposition or fear, or there's there's relative challenge here. Like I'm trying to open the ice cream parlor, but I don't know if I'm gonna get this loan from the bank, right? So if I'm thinking that I'm not going to get it, nine of swords, self-fulfilling prophecies. I need to be thinking that I've got the loan. I need to be writing down what I'm going to do with the loan money, how I'm going to allocate the money. You need to be thinking always positive and progressive. So even if it was that you didn't get the loan, you did all the positive thinking, right? you still have accomplished something. You wrote down what you would do with money. So now you're going to find creative ways to actually get the money, but at least you know what to do with the money if that was your your scenario in regards to, you know, wanting to open an ice cream parlor. Um, as a man, thank you. So he is, right? Or I'm sure someone down in the comments are, correctly. Two of our yeah, some of you, it's like a business deal. Business is it, you might have too much going on, you need to take a more playful approach, which would be to think positive, to write down your goals, to write down what it is you really want, um, to really habitually be going after trying to manifest this money, the tools govern the money. Money and income, like what you do is, it's not yet cyclical, but it's definitely the exchange, the exchange of time in regards to going in to a job and getting paid to do that job or the exchange in regards to being a business owner and here's the product that I'm selling or the service and, and now you exchange you know, you give me money, that's the exchange. So some of you, you aren't sure that the money is going to be enough or you're really trying to make it cyclical. Like the eight of pentacles is, is cyclical, it's a cycle. Like you got it, you got it down. Like, okay, people come in frequent, once again, back to the ice cream parlor. People come to your, you get about at least 50 people during the week, the weekends are booming. You can't count the people, but you get at least 50 people a day. Um, it's cyclical, you know, it's a cycle. Um, that's the eight of pentacles. The two of pentacles is when you have gotten to a place of, of understanding in regards to the exchange of money. Like I am exchanging my, my energy, my effort, my God given talent for now I need to make. It's cyclical. I'm gonna always be getting, always be, you know. So that's where some of you are in regards to maybe your own business, independent contracting work. Okay, three cards came out once. Okay, Queen of Air. That's definitely you. So be objective, be independent, be knowing what it is you really want to do. Um, don't let fears hold you back. Um, have foresight. She has foresight. She's been through a lot. So she can see that this is a, a downward swing or this will be an upward swing. The aid of water. This may be you contemplating walking away from something that just isn't serving you. And it's not, it's serving, it's not serving you on a continuous cyclical basis. Like, it continues to disappoint you. It didn't disappoint you once where you wanted to walk away, eight of water, but it disappoints you continuously. Three of water, you may want to, um, something you may be about communication. You might want to communicate with friends, family, people who know you, who can provide greater insight in regards to um, your income and what you're doing and how to bring in more money. Okay. Um, overall, February 2020 looks, in regards to career and finance, it looks pretty good. In regards to love and romance, I think once you get over the, the hurdle of release, you're fine. You can 
you can get over it once you know. Okay, Gemini, I hope that this reading resonated with you for you. Go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of coupon codes below. You can also text me. The number is below. Um, you can text a question or two to the number, pay for your question, receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. It just makes me more accessible to you and you accessible to me. Thank you, Gemini. Take care. Have a really good February. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye.